Dear friends, welcome to the channel The Eastern Front. During the Great Patriotic War and in our time a 10 cannons barrel can burst. And there are several reasons for this. So why is it happening? Surely you have seen photos showing tanks with a burst trunk that opens like flower petals. The first reason for the rupture of the gun barrel is the ingress of foreign objects into the barrel such as dirt, fragments of stones or branches. Overcoming a trench, a crater or any other pit, a driver mechanic can scoop up the ground with the trunk. And overcoming a terrain with a forest belt, a tree branch can get into the trunk. In general, it's not so hard to clog the trunk. Before loading the gun, the loader must check its barrel for the presence of foreign objects. But this was not always done in the turmoil of the battle, and it can be clogged when the gun is already loaded and ready to fire, and it's not possible to check from the bridge whether something got into the barrel. After the shot, the clogged barrel bursts. This became especially true with the appearance of the T-3485. Its barrel is much longer than that on the T-3476. And the driver mechanics have not yet got used to the new dimensions. Sometimes they made such mistakes. No wonder after each bottle and before the next, the tank crew had to thoroughly clean the gun barrel. The second but not so frequent cause of barrel rupture was defective or damaged ammunition. Well, the third reason was the deliberate damage of the gun. If the tank was hit and crew left it, or when retreating, when it was necessary to leave behind faulty equipment, the tank commander could throw a hand grenade into the barrel of the gun to explode it. This was done so that the Nazis couldn't restore equipment and use it against the Soviet troops. There were also cases when the Soviet or German tankers fired at the barrel of the gun. Soviet soldiers recalled that during the initial military training courses, they were instructed in shooting at an enemy gun. Damage to the trunk in this way led to serious consequences. By the way, on my second channel there is a video about how tankers destroyed the trunks of enemy tanks. And what happened after that? The link will appear in the right corner. The rupture of gun barrel also happens in modern tanks. Despite all the know-hows that are used in the new technology, the reasons for the blowout remain the same. Dear friends, that's all for today. It was Tim and the Eastern Front channel. And as usual, I wish you peace and health. See you.